Hi everyone, it's Liam here from biggerplate.com. I've been asked by our friends at Mind Manager to share some ideas about the ways mind mapping and visualization tools can be used to support effective project management. So what I'm going to look at in this video is how mind mapping can be an invaluable addition to the project management toolkit in the planning, delivery and review stages of any project. So let's take a look. So let's imagine we have a project to plan, which is the hosting of a conference for our business partners. We're going to use mind mapping software to manage our kickoff meeting with the key people involved and can jump straight into capturing ideas and information using just a few simple headings in the mind map to help prompt our initial thoughts, discussions and questions. Adding and expanding on ideas and information in the mind map is easy to do as you have a practically infinite canvas to work on and moving and editing information around the map is very straightforward. This is really beneficial when you need to do a bit of brainstorming on a particular topic or idea, as you can build out the thinking as much and as far as you need to, but whenever you reach a natural conclusion, can hide that detail away and return back to the core structure of the mind map to pick up on the other topics. This gives you the ability to easily follow the threads of discussion in those early planning stages without getting lost or overly distracted as the mind map structure serves to pull you back to that big picture view and the other items you need to explore. The mind map also makes it easy for us to move seamlessly between different areas of focus as our thinking and discussions develop. For example, as we start to think about the people part of our project and perhaps our event team, we may be prompted to think about how there might be a risk of key people being out of the business at key periods in the project and how this might impact our delivery. The map software makes it easy to move back and forward between these different areas, and we can even use visual cues in the software to make certain informational connections stand out even further. Once we've had time to capture and develop our ideas further, the mind map may start to look a bit more like this, with some more of the project components coming together. We can now start to use other features of the mind mapping software to really move us from the initial brainstorming stage into more of the in-depth research, prioritization and action planning. Notes and hyperlinks in mind mapping software are a great way to pull extra detail into your planning mind maps so that key information is easily accessible within the project plan rather than spread all over the place in different documents or web browsers. As an example, we can use the hyperlink function to save key website information for some of the venues that we are considering for our event, and can also use the notes feature to add extra information to that topic within the mind map without creating clutter around it, perhaps copying some key information from the venue website that we want to keep readily accessible. If we've found PDFs or other documents that are saved locally, we can also hyperlink to these or even attach them into the mind map, once again meaning that all key information starts to be centralised and accessible from this single project planning mind map. As more information builds in the project plan, we can also start to use icons within the software to clearly indicate priority items for attention. As an example, after building out the risk register for our project, we could go one step further and mark up the most important risks using priority icons to make them stand out. We may also reorganize the order of these items in the mind map to give a clearer sense of top to bottom importance. Simple visual cues like these can be a huge help when communicating your project plan or parts of your plan with others, creating a greater sense of clarity and alignment about those priority items. So having worked to capture, organize and prioritize key information and ideas in your project planning mind map, you'll now be better equipped to start building out the tasks and phases of action that will actually be involved. If we look at the schedule section of our project plan, you can see we have started to build out a skeleton schedule of activity and also started to identify clear and specific actions to take, such as compiling venue shortlists and moving to secure quotes. You can see therefore that we've moved through from that initial brainstorm about our conference event right the way through now to very tangible action planning. In this section of the mind map, therefore, we can start to leverage the task management functions of mind mapping software like Mind Manager to flesh out the details. We can mark items as tasks by using a completion icon. We can define due dates or periods of time when a particular task is going to be tackled. And we can assign tasks to a single team member or multiple team members. 
As we do this, defining deadlines, assigning tasks, etc., we can even roll these tasks up so that they show and they display at the higher level our progress. So as we tick off individual small tasks, we get that higher level view of how we are progressing in that phase of the project. One more thing. Where you have tasks or sections of your mind map that involve numbers such as budgets, if you're using Mind Manager, you can even start to capture this information in the mind map too. And again, roll up your individual cost items to get a calculated total showing in the mind map at the higher level, which is a great way to keep important figures visible as they become clear and as you build out your project plan. It's worth mentioning at this point that depending on how you like to manage and plan your projects, you may want to, or perhaps be required, to break this scheduling process out into a separate document so that you use this initial document as the background context, then have a separate document dedicated to the specific work breakdown and task scheduling. Again, that can all be done within the mind mapping software, even though you will break it out into a separate document. If, for example, we take the schedule section of our planning mind map and break it out into a separate map, it might look like this. And we may even want to change the structural layout of the diagram to represent something that may look a little more familiar to project managers out there. This different view of the same information can help you and people you're working with to build out work breakdown structures and project schedules in a format and structural design that might feel a little bit more familiar. It's worth noting that project managers or stakeholders who like to see their project plan in a timeline or Gantt chart view also have that option within Mind Manager, providing of course you have done the necessary scheduling for all tasks in the mind map, which I have not done fully in this example. Changes made in the Gantt chart view are reflected in the mind map and vice versa, giving you a dynamic set of diagram viewing options when building and monitoring your project plan. If we come back to the map view, what we have, once this is fully developed, is a coherent, easy to use and easy to share project plan that can help you and your team to update and monitor progress as you move through the phases of the project. Having used the icons and the task information functionality within Mind Manager as we built out our map, we can now also use the powerful filtering functions to reduce information on the page to show specific items at specific points in time. For example, we might want to see just the tasks that have been assigned to a specific team member, like so. Alternatively, you could also use the filter to quickly focus in on items that are perhaps due this week, or maybe items that are behind schedule, or perhaps marked for attention for some other reason. This ability to easily move between high-level phase project view and very specific task management and monitoring information is a great strength of mind mapping software like Mind Manager. It helps us avoid the need for separate tools and complicated heavyweight project documents that are often inaccessible to many of the key people who are actually involved in the project. If we jump across to look at another example of a project planning map that I've found and downloaded from biggerplate.com, you'll see how someone else has organized the structure for their project a little bit differently using the initiation, control, and closure phase planning often used in project management. The point is, however you choose to structure and organize the information, the mind mapping software is going to give you the expansive and adaptable canvas required for brainstorming and requirements gathering in the early stages, and then the powerful task and tracking functionality needed in the execution phase. Finally, once you've successfully planned and executed your project using a mind map like this one perhaps, you can also use the software to conduct project retrospectives or reviews that can be more interactive, dynamic and useful. This is a process that can get missed at the end of projects, often because teams simply have to move on quickly and don't have time for long drawn out processes. Whether you spend half an hour doing a quick brainstorm by yourself or a longer period of time reviewing with your team members, a lessons learned mind map like this one, which is also available to download from biggerplate.com, is a great way to quickly and easily capture key learning from the project and look for ways to improve next time. Obviously, it can be linked, as you just saw, from that master project schedule map as well, keeping all of your key project information and documentation together in one place. So there you have it, a quick look at the ways mind mapping software can support you in the planning, delivery and review of your next project.
I hope you found this video useful. If you want to learn more about the use of mind mapping for project management, then we've got plenty of templates, webinars, and additional resources at biggerplate.com. If you want to start using mind mapping in your own projects, then head over to mindmanager.com where you can download a free trial of this powerful software. Thanks for watching.